appreciate this. You wanted to talk about Margot? And Alec Wallace? What about him? Well, this might be awkward for you, because I know you work for him. So does Margot. Yeah. And you are around them both a lot, so you know them very well. Look, Tom, if this is going to take a long time, I... You got somewhere to go? As a matter of fact, I, I do. Um, I'm headed out to New York. I'm going to check up on our corporate offices out there. Wow. It's quite a job for the new kid. You must have made a real impression around the office. As, as a matter of fact, I, I haven't um, I haven't been in the office very much. I've, Alex got me running around too much. Well, maybe he hired you as his road rep. No, I don't think so. He would have mentioned travel to me when he offered me the job. So he didn't mention that? No, not a word. Kind of weird. Something tells me that you're not so sure about Alec Wallace yourself. Thank you. Uh, Miss Winthrop, I know that you represented Dina Silva when she was fighting for child support for her son, Eddie. Yes, but unfortunately we were unsuccessful. Uh, yeah, well, I was wondering if you could tell me about the father. Well, I'm afraid you wasted a trip. Um, I never met the man. I can't even tell you his name. Oh, I can tell you that. You know the identity of Eddie Silva's father? Yes, but I need proof. And just where do you plan to get this proof? Oh, from you. Sit down. Oh, thank you. Okay, now I know that you became very close to Dina while you were counseling her. Yes, but as far as having any information on her, I turned the whole file over to Eddie. Um, uh, I didn't even keep a copy for myself, but you know all this. You were there. Yes, I know. You also said that you never made a separate note of the father's name. I was much more concerned about Dina than the rat who dumped her. Who was he? It was Alec Wallace. Alec Wallace? The guy who's taken over half of Oakdale and just about everything else he sets his sights on? Yep, that's the one. Ms. Hughes, you're not going to get any information out of me until you tell me exactly what you plan to do with it. Were you aware that Alec Wallace spent his night last night at the cabin? Yes. With well, Margo? Oh, she couldn't have been there, man. I would have seen her. You mean you were up there? Yeah, for a little while, and then uh, Wallace asked me to leave. After making such a big deal about me going up there with him. Well, didn't you think that was strange? Yeah. Hey, how did you know that Margot was up there? Because she told me. Look, Eddie, I know that you and I have our differences, but I think we have something in common. I think we both care about Margot, and I think we would do anything to protect her. You think she's in some kind of danger? What do you think? I think that... I work for this guy, you know, and, and if he's in some kind of trouble, it's it's not my place to get involved. You know what, but you are involved. And so is Margot, so after all that she's done for you, are you just gonna stand back all and right. let her get Look, hurt? fine. I think that he's in some kind of trouble, all right? Big trouble. Okay, there... There are certain things that... I can't tell you because of security purposes, but I can reassure you that this is for Dina's sake, for Eddie's sake. Don't reassure me. Convince me. Everything we say here is confidential? That goes without saying. Alec Wallace is being investigated by Oakdale PD. Your former employer? My current employer. I'm working undercover. I'm Alec's security consultant. What are you after? You know, I really have already told you more than I should. Can you help me or not? Yeah, yeah, I can help you. Great, thank you. Um, I need you to think back of all the conversations you had with Dina, you know, either on or off the record. Did she ever mention the baby's father, anything at all? I vaguely remember her mentioning his background. Yeah, and that was? Something about them having similar roots, which probably meant that he grew up on the wrong side of the tracks, too. Probably, yeah. Anything else? Uh... Yeah. That the guy wouldn't settle for obscurity. He wanted it all, and he'd do anything to get it. 
Well, that sounds familiar. Is that it, then? No, that he was cold, distant, um, wouldn't let anybody get close to him, including her. You see, that's Alec Wallace to a T. And a few million other guys. Yes, but what do you suppose the coincidence is that he would fit Dina's description so perfectly and that he would be so unusually attached to Eddie Silva? Maybe he just wants to mentor the kid. Oh, my God, no, you haven't seen him together. It's as if Eddie could do no wrong. Whatever he does, Alec sees the good in it. Now, that's not a boss. That's a parent. He also made Eddie a junior partner in Wallace Enterprises. Junior partner? Mm -hmm. Eddie was running that club, right? The Oasis? The Oasis, yeah. He was a bouncer. Before that, he was a busboy. Hardly the usual resume for a partner. Unless you're feeling incredibly guilty for deserting the kid 20 years ago. You do have a strong argument. But what I don't have is proof. Not yet. But there is someone who might be able to help you get what you're looking for. Who is that? Alec Wallace. Come on, Eddie, for Margot's sake. What makes you think that Alec is in trouble? Look, the guy is my boss and my friend, okay? He's been damn good to me, so this conversation is over. Eddie, give me one more second, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Lisa, I'm... Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, you just don't want to know. How about you? Did, uh, Mom, uh, Eddie and I are having a conversation. Just give us one second, please. No, this will just take a minute. I came in, I have to warn you about something. What's wrong? Uh, well, nothing is really wrong. I mean, not yet, anyway, but I just got off the phone with a fax checker from the City Times. About what? About my association with Alec Wallace. So, it looks like they're going to do an article on our infamous publisher. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. It depends on whether you want to believe the rumor mill. I... Well, something tells me they're not going to do a glowing profile on a panic citizen. No, no, I think it's going to be just the opposite. It seems to me it's more like an investigation. What type of investigation, Mom? Honey, no one seems to know. Certainly no one at the City Times knows, but... Well, it's just my hunch that that Lucinda, dear old Lucy, is on some kind of witch hunt, and she's going to keep digging until she finds some dirt on this man.